I think you're right. Most of the people that I've talked to and studied have paradigm shifts through personal experience where it's so dramatic that there's no denying it, whether it's a near-death experience, a, a spiritually transformative state in meditation, psychedelics, things like that. I didn't have quite that, but I had many, I would call mystical experiences where I was having lots of synchronicities, yep. just very strange coincidences, like totally bizarre. And I, I was documenting them as they were happening because I was so confused. I tried to run the numbers in my head. I'm like, this is not chance. Something weird is happening. And then I also talked to lots of psychics and energy healers, and some of them could do things. They knew things that I could not explain. I mean, totally. crazy stuff. <laughs> so those were experiences to sort of validate it. But you're right. I, I It was not experiential in the sense that I was feeling the sensations that people talk about. I, was, I didn't have that. Um, but the evidence base that I was encountering was so, it became so vast that if I wanted to be intellectually honest, I couldn't say that it was all fabricated. And therefore, if I wanted to be intellectually honest, I had to change my worldview. Um, and it was hard. I mean, it's still hard. I'm, I'm still going through the paradigm shift seven-ish years later, a little under seven years. Um, but about a year after that initial podcast experience, and I had started to talk to certain friends about it over dinner, over brunch in San Francisco, and some people were really interested, uh, people with my background, they're like, whoa, if what you just said is true, then I've got to rethink things. And so I was getting positive feedback from a lot of people. The next summer, 2017, I said, why don't I write a book about this? Still working at the firm. And I wasn't sure how I'd even do that. I didn't even know about writing books. I was on some big deals at the time that were time consuming. So I took the 4th of July weekend that year when my friends were out partying. And I said, I'm going to pull an investment banking week long weekend and just work as hard as I can and finish this book. I didn't quite finish it, but I finished a lot of it. And um, long story short, you know, that book came out in 2018. 2019, I, I produced a podcast series on the same topics uh, about the brain and consciousness. It's called Where Is My Mind? Decided to leave the firm at the end of 2019 because I wanted to devote all of my energy in this area. So that was a tough one for me because I'd made it to partner. It was on a really good track, but I felt so much passion for this other stuff that, that I couldn't split my energy. So I left the firm not knowing what would be next. I didn't have a job lined up. I wasn't going to a competitor. I just needed space. And uh, here we are uh, over three years later. I've written four more books since the first one. So the fifth one just came out a few months ago. And I've covered lots of topics in addition to science of consciousness, uh, personal development, politics, economics, culture. Uh, but they're all around trying to understand who are we and why are we here. And that's what interests me most. It's an, it's an amazing journey, man. I admire the courage. I definitely, as somebody who is currently working on a book and writes a lot, admire your prolific production of content. And I think maybe to just kind of ground the conversation. Thank you for checking out this clip. If you want to see the full episode, you can do so by going up here. I hope you have a wonderful day.